This is just yet again another concept to uh, awaken and to become more in tune with what you actually are as a human being and as a conscious, sentient earthling that is here to embody the frequency that of love and compassion and ultimately anything that you want to feel as you are free will and you are everything that is and ever will be. You are the one infinite creator. You are God in this portion. And I'm going to explain how you are exactly in this analogy. So imagine consciousness, imagine the unity, the absolute infinity as being a perfectly pristine mirror that had no reflection to reciprocate, to relate to. It was just a giant mirror. Consciousness was a reflective substance. It was a material that was completely reflective, but it had nothing to reflect because in this state of unity, there was nothing there. There was nothing that was existent. There was nothing that was uh, material that was really outside of itself to reflect and become a, uh, a interesting perspective. And I'll just, you know, again, emphasize the word interesting because that's all consciousness wants to explore is its interests and its desires. So while you're here, you're really uh, getting in tune with what you desire, why you desire it, and how you desire it. And I go into this on various videos, but uh, bringing it back to this analogy, you know, where this consciousness is this giant mirror, and we are a part of this giant mirror, and in duality, uh, consciousness becomes broken, and it becomes segmented and sharded, and it becomes a separate piece as that can be moved and taken about, and you know had, that reflects differently as you take each shard out of the mirror and reflect it back on itself, each shard that, that you, you are holding is going to have a different perspective of that consciousness, that mirror that it's reflect, that shard is reflecting back to. It's going to have a different perspective of the one infinite unity. And that's all you're here to do is to be a a shard, a portion of consciousness that reflects something back that you, as the one infinite God creator, want. Okay, so as you take your portion out outside and reflect your shard back on the mirror that is broken, because again, this broken mirror is duality, is you're in a state of being separate from the one. And as soon as that mirror broke, it became dual. It became many. There was no longer one. There was many. So when you take out a shard and you take out, um, take yourself out of the unity of the perfect, the perfection that is uh, non-physicality, then you become a shining example. You become a, a reflective surface that consciousness now has to see itself, its unity, because I'm holding the shard here as, as a human being. I have this, this, this portion of myself, of the infinite, and I have a, have a specific perspective. If someone else was um, in this room and they took out a portion and reflected it back onto the one, 
they would be over there and they would have a completely different view of consciousness, of the, uh, the duality, of the manifest reality that than I have. They have a different, a different piece. My piece is here. Their piece is, is over there. They took this piece and they're standing there in this room and they're looking on this great, this great mirror that it seems to be broken. It seems to be uh, separate. It only seems that way. And they are reflecting a different portion, a different perspective that is, that is going to give uh, the conscious one infinite creator another way to experience itself through the separation, through that uh, specific portion of itself, okay? And uh, all portions exist simultaneously. So if, as a human being, if you take out this portion, right, and uh, another human being, another human being 200 years ago has this portion, it still exists. It, that portion that, that happened 200 years ago is always going to be a portion of the one infinite creator because there is no real separation. There is only a perceived separation that you are different, that you are outside of existence, that you are outside of life. And all life is is a... Uh, Segment is a individual representation of consciousness as consciousness wanting to know itself from that specific point of view. So there's no reason for you to feel guilty about what and who you are and why you are because you are here on behalf of the one infant of who you are and you're just remembering your and putting the pieces back together, right? You're just remembering and putting back the pieces so they fit again and that you can again join together with the, uh, the source intelligence, the infinite one and that's ever present that is helping, that is allowing you to breathe without thinking of having to breathe. It's the infinite intelligence. So, you know, even though there was this, por this human portion that came here that had this, this shard of glass 200 years ago. And they, they held their portion up to the one infinite creator and they did their service, right? They uh, were an experience for the one infinite creator to be experienced as itself in form, in earth, as a human being, in a particular culture, in, in, a, in a particular body, in a particular family, so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, what I'm getting at here is that all portions exist now and are simultaneous to each other. And it is only illusion that they happen uh, linearly, that you experience, you know, this, this as the past, right? Or yeah, this, this portion here is the past, that's the future. And we fit somewhere in the middle. It's a fucking lie. <laughs> okay, guys? It's a lie. And we all exist now. Your mind is playing tricks on you. You're believing it. And time is not linear. Okay? So wake up <laughs> and understand this, hopefully. Thank you. And uh, this duality. And I want to talk about each little puncture here. This each little uh, each little break, you know, you see how uh, in the mirror there are there are center points of the break of so if someone took a hammer to the mirror and smashed it on these points, right, on these uh, different sections, right, where where each shard comes from. I talk about this in other videos, but essentially at this center point, 
is our six density self. It's, it's our ultimate um, unified, con uh, completely confined, refined, um, and uh, compressed self. And it is the most intelligent uh, portion that you could ever be. And uh, with, in the center, if that six density self is um, representing on behalf of many different shards, right? There, there is, it's representative of many different shards and each shard is a, is a portion of a human being, of a extraterrestrial, of a tree, of a rock, of a animal that is being contained or kind of connected to this center point, this sixth density self. So kind of the, if we were to take this shard here, the sixth density self would be here in the center and the farther out you go would be uh, the lower the density, right? So first density would be out here, second, third, fourth, fifth, right? Here, I'll, so sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second. So the farther out that you go in each portion, and the farther you are away from the uh, the unity and the uh, involution of the the compression back inward into uh, unity. Once you get to that point, guys, uh, then you transcend duality. You transcend form. You transcend the universe. This universe as we know it. And I don't know where it goes from there, but this understanding has helped me become uh, more aware of the nature of time and consciousness itself. So I know it will help you who's watching. And just remember that there's a bigger, more intelligent portion that is in charge of you in a way and is completely respect, respectful and has to abide by your own free will. So if you're here in third density, yeah, if you're here in third density and you don't want to uh, face the music, so to speak, and you don't want to uh, face your fourth, fifth, or sixth density self that is much more in tune with uh, non-physicality and something that is beyond time and space as you know it, if you don't want to face that, then the sixth density self here in the center has to respect that and it will only give you what you need in order for you to like survive and just be normal and just uh, kind of like go about your day as like living as making sure you have water and food and shelter and all those necessities. But, um, you know, it, it, t it comes at a point when you uh, are, have experienced that enough where you actually want to face the music and face the, the, the reality that you are going to die one day and that that death is going to be a new beginning to something. And that new beginning is something that you become infatuated with. So when you, uh, so again, you know, six density self has to respect your free will because that portion that you are in third density that is away from the unity consciousness that is still in the illusion that duality has to be something that to be experienced. When you, when you believe that as this third density self, then the sixth density self can do not get through to you what the intelligence and the insights and the revelations and the uh, lessons that are going to help you on the journey to the in this in this current system and it won't it can't help you 
in the next system because you're going that's where you're headed really is is going to the next system so uh the longer that you wait for uh, yourself to be uh directed in the appropriate direction that you will become more free and become more expanded and uh you know essentially happy blissful uh, you know, the longer you will have to wait in suffering, okay? So, that is enough for today, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next video.